What's up, party people? This is Jose Heredia with The Crimes Fader Show. Uh, just a few hours ago, I found out through Facebook that Sean McKee was here in town, and I wanted to sit down and have a little one-on-one before he headed back to uh, to the East Coast. Sean McKee, thank you very much for Pleasure. sitting down with me a, a, few, a few moments before you do a presentation here at Visible Touch. Tell us, Sean McKee, how did you get started? I've been in the music business for over 40 years, and one way or another, singing playing music, whatever the case may be. I've been doing a mobile DJ business for 18 years. I've been working for James Daniel Entertainment, AV and Event Lighting for 18 years. Great company, and who's got it better than me? (laughs) You're a big guy in the industry, and I mean that not in the literal sense, unless you want to. But uh, you've done several presentations at Mobile B. Tell us about that. Well, we did a passion, I did two passion performance, uh, passion in your performance, seminars with my good friend Jerry Syracuse out of Jersey and I just wanted to share how I feel about this business because I love Big Daddy that is my second person I love Sean is my my given my name but Big Daddy I've been Big Daddy forever and ever and ever and I just love this business so much I just wanted to share how much I love this business and hopefully instill a little bit passion in everybody else the, the passion you're talking about, is it a passion for your business, for your career, for what you do, or is it passion in life in general? All of the above, because I love people. I, my passion in life is to make as many people in this world smile, because they tell you every day that the world stinks, and I want to make everybody's world a better place to be. I will hug, I will shake hands, I will do everything in my power to make you smile, and that's what I do. That's what I want to do. Tell us about your business in the East Coast. Is it uh, just strictly uh, private parties, corporate functions? What is it you do? Well, we do, of course, we do them all. Uh, weddings, bar and bat mitzvahs, corporate parties. I also do some uh, public stuff, doing karaoke and trivia. You got to do what you got to do. You got to get your name out there. No matter what you got to do to get your name out there, I'm on tap to do about 310 events between everything that I do this year. Wow, that's a lot of events. You know what? The more you get your name out there, the better it is. And, the, you know, yes, am I blessed to have as many people in my life as I do and all over the United States and knock on what I do. Um, but there's other people that don't know about James Daniel and everything that we do. Because we're also doing AV and event lighting. That's a big thing now. And if you don't, the thing is you have to diversify now. You can't just be a DJ. You can't just, and it's wonderful to be able to be able to think you can. Well, you can't. You have to have the other little things that everybody wants because it's not just... A lot of times now they're going for the uplighting and DJs being thrown in. So it's it's all about the perception and it's all about the world today. I'm going to shoot some quick questions for you and just want some quicker responses. Uh, Favorite type of event to DJ? Wedding. Just because it's the most important day of their life. Yes, bar and bar are wonderful, but wedding is a one, more of a one-on-one, more of a personal kind of thing for me. Uh, what's the number one thing you will not forget when going out to do a DJ event? My shoes. No. <laughs> My bridal sheet. Make sure that I have everybody's name and everything. Thanks to the iPad now, I have a printed version, and I have... Thanks to DJ Event Planner, I have it on my computer at all times. Definitely. And, you know, yeah, I have everything in my truck. Backup set of clothes, backup set of everything. Always make sure you have backups, backups of everything. Definitely. And make sure when you're doing your bridal sheet, phoneticize. <laughs> um, what's the most memorable moment you've had in your DJ career? <sighs> Sharing the stage with my son, well, my youngest son. Um, in Atlantic City, the year after I won DJ Times DJ of the Year. This is a kid that would never talk on the microphone, and thanks to a whole bunch of dear friends of mine, they treated him really well and taught him some great things that, because I'm dad, I couldn't. Um, Sharing the final closing part of the show with him on stage and us interacting together was the greatest. The greatest. My kids mean the world to me. And Another thing is after survive, you know, I'm a cancer survivor now and the best, honestly, the reaction that the past and performance thing got in uh, Las Vegas. It was amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I was there. 
It was amazing. I, I was so touched and honored. And listen, guys, I, I'm a blessed man. I am a blessed man. I have people like you as a new friend and everybody. It's not about how big it is. It's about what you do with what you got. And everybody should remember that. And thank you for this is an honor to be here. Well, I, th- I thank you for responding so quickly. I know we don't have that much time. You're getting ready to do a presentation. Uh, real quickly, what's in the future? What you got going on as far as uh, projects, speaking engagements and such? Well, I'm going to be speaking uh, at the Epmen Conference in uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania on May 16th. I, As of right now, it looks like I'm going to be one of the feature writers in Mobile Beat Magazine because Mobile Beat, great magazine, most of the stuff they do is about business. We're going to do something about performance going to be called East Coast Attitude. My friend Johnny Rosin and myself will be doing something about East Coast Attitude. And I want everybody to share their stuff about performance with me. Um, I will probably be speaking at Mobile Beat again this year. And also, with any luck, I will be closing Monday night show at DJ Times. Yeah. Um, any words of advice for our viewers who are watching us, maybe DJing for the first time? If you're DJing for the first time, make sure that you go with somebody that knows what they're doing. Learn, learn, learn. Take it all in. Write things down, whatever it is. Bury your ego because everybody can. Everybody now with a computer and everybody thinks they can DJ. No. This, this type of business, the mobile DJ industry, needs younger people to step up to the plate. And by stepping up to the plate, I mean learn from the people that can give you the best. Your George Lopez's, your Jose's here. And everybody that has been in this business for a while and has something to offer. Everybody has something to offer. Just listen. Listen and they will learn. How do people get a hold of you? Twitter, Facebook, websites? You can go, uh, I've got DJ Sean Big Daddy McKee, Sean McKee, and Twitter, I think it's Big Daddy McKee, at Big Daddy McKee, something. I, Twitter's, <laughs> I, I've got... Pff, or my cell phone or James Daniel. Go, my uh, website is www.jamesdaniel.com. You can see everything there. Anytime anybody wants to call and whatever, Big Daddy's always around. Excellent. Sean McKee, thanks a lot, Big okay. Daddy. Thank you. That's uh, Sean McKee, real quick, for the CrossFitter Show for our video segment this week.